Welcome to the next installment at the eAcademy. Today we are going to show you how to easily download system settings other than those that are already in the flash memory of the Intrica control panel. Downloading the predefined settings greatly facilitates the installer's work because it significantly reduces the time required to create the system configuration from scratch. We will show you a quick and efficient way to load settings either predefined or derived from another already configured Intrigger control panel. What will be needed for this? A PC with Windows operating system. A USB RS converter to connect with the computer. The Download X program, which you can download free of charge from our website. Any of the Intrigger control panels, which in this example will be the Intrigger 24 and the system settings file prepared in advance. Such a file is created by exporting the system settings from the DLoadX program. You can find instructions on how to do this in the link under the video. The file contains predefined sample parameters of zones and outputs as well as user accounts. Now we will show you how to download such a file into the control panel. Where do we start? From connecting the control panel to the computer by means of the USB RS converter. The next step will be to enter the service code on the keypad and confirm it using the asterisk button. Select service mode and the restarts tab in it. Then select restart all. When the Erase All Data prompt is displayed on the keypad, press 1 to confirm your choice. After the control panel is reset to factory settings, the arrow on the display will again indicate Restart All. To exit service mode, go to the End Service Mode. Instead of going through the menu items, you can use the fast track by double pressing the asterisk button, which will take you immediately to the end service mode. When you are on the end service, press the hash button to exit service mode. Note, before exiting service mode, the keypad will display a prompt asking whether to save the settings to flash memory. Once again, confirm this action by pressing the 1 button. The control panel will restart with the recently restored factory settings. Now enter the service code on the keypad and confirm it by pressing the asterisk button. The reset to factory settings has enabled the notify of necessity to change access code option. This is why a message about the need to change the code will appear. You can either skip it by pressing the asterisk again or set a new password. Let us skip this step in the case we are discussing today. Now select the downloading option and confirm start download RS using the hash button on the keypad. Once this is done, go to the computer. Start the download X program. Open the connection tab and enter the configuration item. Then in the port RS232 tab, select the number of port on which the converter is installed. Press OK to confirm your choice. Establishing connection, the COM port icon activates in the upper right corner of the screen. The green item confirms that the port is active. The readiness for connection is reported in the program by the connected with new alarm system message. 
Confirmation by using the OK button will display the new Alarm System tab. In this tab, select the Save Data option and click the folder icon. As a result, the Open Data File tab is displayed, where you should select the name of the file to be saved to the control panel. Once confirmed, the file name will be displayed in the same tab in the dialog box. To finish this operation, click the OK button again. From this moment, the settings are being written to the control panel, which can be seen on the progress bar in the program. The writing session is complete once the data from the file has been copied to the control panel. Finally, name the new settings in the file tab, save as item, enter any file name. If the data has been recorded correctly, the new name will be displayed on the program title bar. The presented example shows that while the whole operation is very simple, it also allows you to quickly create a very complex configuration. This means that you can prepare all the settings at any time and in any conditions, for example at home or at the office, and then upload them to any already functioning system. For more details on the subject discussed in today's material, please follow the link under the video. And that's all for this instalment. Thank you for your attention. We invite you to watch the next instalments at the E-Academy. See you next time.